so we got that uh, clutch throwout bearing handled at one and five eighths. Now we got to now we gotta try to get our clutch fork better. Uh, on the left here, I got a, a stock clutch um, that I bought off the one of the big uh, Willys parts house. Um, this used to go to the Willys Dauntless in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, made it to a T14 transmission. Um, we use it now with our SM420s. Um, this thing turns into the pain in the butt. So I'll show you how to modify that. Uh, not exactly the greatest thing, but it works. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now is cut to here. And these two forks, I'm going to turn them around. That way it grabs the ball in the bow housing really, really good. And I don't have to mess with this buffoonery right here. Because this thing will cause you so much headache trying to get it in and out of that damn motor. Trying to get it in to the bow housing. And this is a source of a major frustration with these Buick uh, 225s, 231s. So, um... We're going to cut this and re-weld it, and I know it works because I got them in both these Jeeps. This one's been around 15 years, and that one's been around since, uh, was it 2020? 2020, 2021. So it works, and the other Jeeps that I've built, it all works. Um, this is a brand new one. You see how that comes up? It doesn't grab all the way on there, on the ball there. But real hard time trying to get that in there. And if you can get it in there, you'll struggle for with it for hours. Finally, you might get it in there. And by the time you get it to that point, it'll fall out. So you gotta go all the way back again and forth. Back again, back and forth. Very frustrating. Well, I'm so, gonna go ahead and Cut that fork up, turn it around, and then insert it, throw out bearing in there, and then we'll slap it together. All right, let's get busy. All right, there it goes, hot off the press. Yeah, a little embarrassed about it because I didn't even want to. I was almost not even going to say anything about this, but, you know, what can you do? No one makes anything like this, so you got to do it yourself. But, yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah. in there all right so greased it up sitting in there nicely I don't know if you can see it through there it hooks that ball pretty good it won't come out I wish they made it like that but they don't so yeah, we just gotta hook up a spring there, and um, this will be ready to go. So now we're gonna lift this thing up, and attach it, turn it on with my lever back there, apply the clutch, and see what we got. <laughs> Remember, got my clutch in there. Clutch feels good. Got good engagement. Able to see it in there. Excellent. So what we're gonna do is do a little tester. A couple of squirts. Spinning towards the driver.
second. Third. Fourth. Neutral. All right, that was an excellent test. Clutch feels really good. Uh, also looking on uh, Novak, one of my go-to websites there. Uh, they also make one. And this one is, is beautiful. This right here uh, runs really smooth on that throw-out bearing. I'll show you right now. Vice this. You can see the this little spring contraption. But this, how they engineered that and around, it really catches that throw up bearing and it throws it pretty good. Also has one of these uh, ball, extended balls. Swing! Anyhow, that gives it a whole lot of leverage as well. Well, yeah, we'll test both of these out and uh, we'll make a decision. And this is just beautiful. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up just doing this because it has already been hopefully thought out. We'll test it and make sure. Um, leverage as well. It's a hard uh, clutch with the SM420. Um, it just needs more force. Um, hopefully this takes care of it with that ball right there. I'm sure that's going to take care of a lot of that as, it, as you press that clutch in and out. And as well as this round piece right here on, on the throw-out bearing. It's going to make it nice and smooth. But yeah, let's, let's get started. See this little ball right here? I bought this other one from Novak. You can see the number on there. What is that? Uh, Mr. Gasket 3855G. Yep. I'm going to put this in there. I hope it fits. And that will give me the ball out to a little bit more out here and that'll give me even more leverage and then we'll put this all back together and we'll test her out again. Alright, we got a couple more discoveries here. So I took the bell housing off because I was going to put on this uh, adjustable one that's uh, generic. Supposed to go in here. The problem is it's a different thread. It doesn't go in there. So that's not going to work. This is the original one. Yeah, that's easy, goes right in there, no problem. I don't want to force this one. And then I took this one off of the Novak one. And uh, get that fits up. I got scared there because I thought this wasn't going to work. I was like, oh man. But yeah, that goes in, no problem. So yeah. Another 50 bucks right here, 45, 50 bucks plus shipping. Down the drain. Nobody loves us. We're on our own. We're on your own! <laughs> yeah, it doesn't fit our little Buicks. It says it's an all around. By the way, they want to give you Chevy parts. That'd probably work good for Chevy. But not for our little Buicks here. V6s. All right, so that one's busted. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on. Let's see, three eighths is our number. The same one that took the original off. Just a little one-hander there.
Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. See these round beds right here? I mean, they fit in there beautifully. Precision. I'm pretty excited about this. We'll see how it goes. So I got that in there. Uh, 11 seconds inch wrench to get it in there. It doesn't say how far. There's a spring in there. And be careful with that spring. It fell out out here. And boy, I wasted about a good 40 minutes trying to find it. I finally found it. And uh, be careful with that. But man, does that feel really good. Man, I mean, I'm barely touching it. Very nice. I like it. Let's put it in the vehicle or in the in the stand. Test stand. First, you know, I really like it. A thumb, you see, one finger, no, two fingers, ow! Two fingers hard, so that's better than mine. Three fingers, no problem. Of course, the hand. Yeah, that feels really nice. I really like that. So this is shorter than mine because it's on that pivot ball, it has more leverage. And it really looks nice. All right, so let's see if it works. I put the simulated load on it already, so we got, want to give it a proper testing. Couple squirts. Put it in the fourth gear. Oh, you see that? I ba it barely have to. Okay, so I barely have to touch it. Like, barely have to. Like, that's it. That's all I have to do. On the Schwarzenegger, it has to come all the way back till it touches there. But this guy, it's barely a little. A little squinklet. That's it. <laughs> wow, that feels good. Let's try that again. Just have to do a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Super smooth. I think that's a winter chicken dinner. Yeah, that feels really good. Ha ha ha. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, of course, the stock one is a stubby, and that takes a lot of force, but it's not as smooth as this. This is like smooth. I would say this is probably like a hydraulic clutch feeling right here. Yeah, right now, I think that's what's gonna go in Bob Boy right now. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna go through and uh, mess with the hydraulics, but to me, I'm a simple guy. I like simple things. So this is the winner for me. See, tomorrow or next video for you guys, we're going to test the hydraulics out. I only got two hydraulic clutches, one from Novak and then the regular ones we get out of all the big Willys parts houses. And we'll test those on the next video. Uh, for me, it's going to be tomorrow. For you, uh, it's going to be next week or something. <laughs> but, uh, but hey, thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot for coming along with me. Uh, I'm just back here screwing around and uh, trying to get my stuff going. I'm sure you guys are in the same boat with no answer because we're all alone. You're on your own! You know, Dauntless 225, SM420. Try to match them. Information's everywhere, all over the internet. Some people say this, people say that. 
but we're dialing it in. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.